Paris. Welcome to the Jardin de Plot. Ooh. I hope it's not too windy for the microphone, but uh, I want to do a little update video and go for a little a little run and talk and uh, hopefully you guys won't notice this gigantic splotch on my nose. Mm. And How's the running going? So it's going, it's going pretty good. So I'm out for a little, out for a little casual jog right now, kind of like a recovery run. So I've been following, due to my scare with stress fractures, the last like four or five weeks I've been following this. This will be the third or maybe fourth time I've done it. But you'll notice as it progressive, it progressively increases the, the volume, the load, and also the recovery. decreases the recovery. Super fantastic. If you want, I'll um, just message me on Instagram, uh, at dessert run, dessert underscore run, I'll send it to you. And for the last two weeks, I've been doing basically three days in a row of running, maxing out it. I think one day I did like 50 minutes, and then I started doing workouts two weeks ago too, which is awesome. But guys, I was just super, I was just super nervous. Like I, I haven't had stress injuries, stress reactions since I was 22 maybe. And for me to get like a pain in like a really specific area on my right toe, 40 miles a week, I was like, oh God, what's wrong? So that's why like, I, I decided to just put it all kind of on pause. I looked at my form, analyzed the form, figured out the problem, and then slowly kind of started to bump up the volume. Because I wanted to be rather safe than sorry, you know what I mean? Like, there, um, there's no races coming up while I run myself into a stress fracture for no reason. So I fixed the problem. And I don't know if you saw the last video here, where I talked about kind of finding the hip balance problem, um, having to lean to one side. Here's the result, maybe a month later. I'm not sure if you can notice it, but there's definitely a, a more equal distribution of weight on my left and right. Before I was just kind of like flopping on my right and not giving my left enough love. Sorry if it's really windy, but I'm doing my best here with the audio, you guys. So this is the Jardin de Plante, because there's a lot of plants and stuff. Fantastic. It's one of those parks that it's, it's okay to run in, you know? It's just like, this is one of like three parks in the city you can run inside of. For and get some actual distance in. So like, there's this one, Jardin de Luxembourg, Luxembourg Gardens. And then there's my favorite, the Jardin de Trouillerie, next to the Louvre. I like that one because it's flat. This one's kind of like on an uphill, like it it goes up maybe five degrees up, which is, it's not a big deal, you don't really notice it. There's also lots of people and the surface is, is kind of hard and it's not a perfect loop unless it's like the entrance is down there. In case you're if, in case you're coming to Paris and you want a place to run, this is a great place to do it. I wouldn't really plan any workouts here though. So like entrance is here and you can kind of come up this way. And then you, you duck down, you go this way and right, and then you've got like an extra little bit. You can go this way to the entrance, but the, again the ground, it's like it's not always even and it's hard to get your foot placement down accurately or well. It's like you see this kind of like it's not, it's fine if you're jogging, but if you're trying to like, if you're in like workout flats or something, and you're trying to get some serious pace down, I wouldn't come here for it because yeah, you just, there's just not good foot stability and stuff, but that's just my own opinion. But guys, training itself for me has been going like relatively really well. So I'm I'm feeling really confident about my form and my stride and I had a really nice workout on, I think it was Tuesday. 
I did a two miles at tempo pace and then like six by 200 meters. Um, feeling really good. Tempo pace is like six minute miles, so it's kind of, it's coming back really quick. Last week I did a workout, tempo was like 620, 630. So like the threshold pace is coming back. I'm able to run fast, but I feel even when I'm running, which is like really, it's a huge, a huge confidence booster for me. And so my little workout thing, I'm like in this last little week here. And so my schedule coming up is, well, this Sunday, I'm gonna run a timed 800 just for fun. The last time I ran a timed 800, I think I was 18 years old. So I just want to see like what kind of speed I have in my legs, just curious. And I, I want to do a mile or a 5K, but then I had second thoughts just because I haven't really done any good specific training for that. And you can kind of, you can fake an 800, but you can't really fake a mile if that makes sense. Like you can, you can chuck yourself around the track for two laps. But four laps, it, at mile pace, if you haven't trained it, it's not enjoyable, especially if you're by yourself, you know? So that's what I'm doing Sunday. And then, in about a month, I'll do a 5K maybe, two or three weeks. But as I'm, I'm really excited to start actually building up my mileage again. I don't know exactly how many miles I've been doing every week, maybe 20 or 30. And to be honest, I haven't even been counting mileage because it's, because I'm, because I'm really just keeping track of the the time, so like 30, 35 minutes. It's progressively getting to be quite a bit. I think last week I did 225 minutes total of running, which is good. And so next week, maybe I'll do four days of running in a row, take a day off, repeat, you know? And honestly, if I'm back to the point where I'm taking a day off a week, even two days off a week, that's fine. And I'll start to increase the time. So my next goal over the next month is to get to like an hour of running a day maybe spread over four days of the day off, you know, and just kind of just just progressively get it out there. And so the goal is like in two or three months, I can actually be down to beginning up into kind of like some serious mileage, you know? So that's me, that's what I've been doing. And I'm like, I'm, I'm honestly really excited. I know like if you're watching this, you're like, oh my God, this guy ran hundred miles a week and like like jogged it like it was nothing. And I did, but, but you know, like you know, my mechanics changed a little bit because of, maybe losing strength, maybe running on imbalanced surfaces, who knows, but you know, whatever happened, happened, and so I had to kind of find a way to adapt and readjust. It's kind of just the reality, you know? Yeah, the weather's getting really getting really beautiful here in Paris. Today and yesterday was kind of poopy, but the last two weeks has been beautifully sunny and warm and, and dry. And so yeah, this is kind of like what I've been doing, and I'm really excited for this summer's worth of training, and um, Oh uh, yeah, so this is me on Instagram if you want to see the little training, the training schedule, because it's hard to find now, they kind of deleted it. If you want to know more about like, kind of like my training and like what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, like all the, not just the running, but also like the supplementary exercises. And when I talk about balancing my hips and my core and stuff, I can, I can share that with you. If you go to my Patreon, Patreon plug, mm, you can sign up and you can start getting kind of weekly updates about, about my training schedule. And if any of you out there are um, having issues with kind of returning from stress fractures and kind of losing your confidence and stuff or shin splints and not feeling good about the recovery like it seems you seem kind of disillusioned hopefully this will kind of give you a little bit of uh, a little bit of hope you know because like i'm like i said i'm used to running six seven eight hours a week you know like in huge chunks hour hour and a half 10 or 12 miles at a time and now i'm kind of hobbled to run 30 to 40 and i'm not like i'm not letting myself run more you know but that's okay because i've been doing it for the last few weeks and I'll do it for I'll continue to do it for the next few weeks and few months and eventually it'll go back to back to normal you know all right guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time have a lovely week all right cheers see you